Right, hello everybody. Welcome to um, my Xbox CCL playoff match first round. As you can see, it was started with a perfect defence, which is obviously amazing against this Norse team. So he's got Norse and he's got a 1400 TV team. Thanks, oh, no. Um He could have actually got a wizard <laughs> and chain, but he uh, he got an extra player, so he couldn't get a wizard as well due to financial financial fair play rules. And obviously, my dwarves have got loads of guard and uh, a couple of strength ups. So I positioned everything in such a way as he couldn't really make a blitz with a frenzy guy. And uh, yeah, just loads of guard. Not easy for him at all, is it? Um, he doesn't really have anything exciting. He's got a pommer, some mighty blows, some guard of his own, but uh, nothing really outstanding apart from the uh, apart from Cheney, really. The claw is his big his big weapon in this match. So yeah, I'm not sure why he runs the runs the Ulf down there as a <laughs> as a scoring threat or something. It was pretty random. But he goes quite hard here with like some good players as well, realistically. Um, you know, Cheney's there. He makes a dodge and then he... So he makes this. So I, looking back, what I'd like to do on my turn is to is to blitz into this area. Um, but he didn't. He just... He, so he, I just left him. He just left everything there. He didn't even go for the ball. He ran out of time. He ran out of time. That's what happened there. He ran out of time in two minutes. Um, they actually, the Xbox admins made a mistake and made it two minutes in turns instead of three minutes turn. It should have been three minutes turns, but the, uh, the admins did it wrong on <laughs> Xbox. So the first round was two minutes and it really cost him there. Um, but yeah, looking back, I really should have just blitzed the Ulf or the dirty player and like jammed in all the guard here to make it hard for him and just gone for a big fight over there. But instead I'm kind of like committing forward with moving four players. Which is a bit nuts, isn't it? That's a bit nuts, really. Pre trying to pressure him with a movement 14. Um, and then trying to keep my uh, armor 8 guys caged. Uh, you know, trying to make them frenzy trap type players. So. Do you oh reckon in two years' time, Jim, you'll be washed up and out of the Blood Bowl game? You'll be laying back on your sofa at 1 p.m., choking back tears while passing yourself your fifth beer of the day using your two-toed foot. Just watching old VODs and reminiscing about good times with the lads. Reading our ghostly chat messages. Please, please, thanks for the bits, Elmin, but please don't do it again while this is on, or I'll just have to do them offline in the future. Right, so, um... Yeah, so now he's running back after running out of time. Obviously, that wasn't wasn't great for him running out of time. But he does I, by wanting to blitz. I didn't even want to blitz to be honest. But by blitzing, I did open up a chain hit. But by him taking it, he gave up a mighty blow hit. So that was all right, wasn't it? That's a good. He kind of got sucked into this hit, which is pretty nice. And yeah, he's running around a bit. Oh, is that what it was sort of him? Yeah. So yeah, he, so he fails the pick up. And user rear also gets it. So yeah, you know, like a, I'm wanting to pressure the ball, but like I've got a movement for a team, so I, I still think I shouldn't have done. Looking back now, I shouldn't have even. I probably should have surfed this ult maybe. Um do GFI to surf the ult, wouldn't have hated it. Or just, you know, I'll, I'll blitz this guy. Blitz this guy, pom him. Um and just kind of stayed back is what I think I should have done. I wanted to give myself the option to blitz Cheney, I think. As well. GBA V break, armor 7. Actually being armor 7. But I run these guys forward, which is... Like, it's kind of good, isn't it? Because they're strength 4, but it's also kind of bad. Because now he can, he can outrun me. I'm not happy with how I played that, so I did blitz him. Okay, well, I like that blitz anyway. I do like that blitz. Good for me. <laughs> I didn't really want to rely on the GFIs to surf the ult. And get the pom hit on Cheney. Oh, 
beastly pile. Because Cheney's his best player. And a glorious Kaz. Hello, big look at Death Ball. And he is dead. <laughs> but he regens. Boo. So, yeah, I mean, that would be huge if Cheney's off there. But it's already quite good. The only thing is. <laughs> Get off my fucking. Like, he's running out of players, <laughs> but I, I have really overcommitted here, haven't I? Really, really huge commitment. Cheeky, cheeky no skills removal on armor 9. But I mean, he's, you know, the thing was just so slow, I really think I didn't play it well. <laughs> I think I should have just kept everything, like in a wall across the crypt or something. A wall across the crypt. I can't even speak, but you know, a wall across the pitch. That's what I was trying to say. Happy just to take the Pong hits. I mean, obviously, Pong on armor 7 is good, isn't it? So. The Surf would have been great, but Pong armor 7 is also great. <laughs> no need to pile with a KO. Not sure about this, maybe he should have not been in base contact, but I, I like that it took him an extra guy to commit to be able to punch. Waddling back. So now I've realised that actually dwarves shouldn't be further forward than the opposition should be. <laughs> you know? These guys are punching here. And like, it's paid off. You know, there's a KO there. That's pretty good, isn't it? So there was payoff. And this guy fends, and that guy gets Kaz. So to be fair, these two bases that I don't like in hindsight, as, as a tactical decision, certainly paid off in the match with both removing their guys. But um, yeah, that was, that was some good dice, wasn't it? Oh yeah, and that's my block kick runner. I've got my good runner. He's in reserve for my offensive drive. Bludge kickoff returns. I've got like an offensive one and a defensive one. So here, I don't know if there was a way to chain him in the ball. Probably wasn't. Um, no, I just thought, let's just hit things, you know. Try not to think too much. Just punch some stuff, see what happens. Double skull. Brutal, uh, brutal first thing to do, isn't it? Double skull there. Well, it really wasn't the turn of double skull either, because with getting the power can block and then make double GFI, well, three GFIs to hit the ball um, with tackle, which is pretty good, isn't it? But it was not the, not the turn to use the reward. And block. So yeah, move these guys back a bit. All the all the Norse are KO'd mostly. Surfed surfed or regen no not surfed, it was regen and KO. Not surfed. So yeah, so fail this fail that with having now what he should have done is here, obviously, he should have scored here, shouldn't he? He should have blitzed with this character. That that lineman could have blitzed and then he could have just like not gone over it, but instead he did a jump up block. He didn't even blitz, he did a jump up block, re, re -rolled, the, it rolled a 1 so he couldn't jump up, then used his reroll on it, which is obviously not not very good. Uh, it must have been a misclick maybe, he mustn't have, you know, he must probably thought in his head he was going to blitz, but then just did, did the block, so that was probably a bit unfortunate, as well as a bit bad. Um, so is that there, that, that follows okay there, isn't it? That follow is alright. Uses his apple. So now here, obviously, what I should do is move my fucking runner to this square and double surf. But like a complete idiot, I didn't. I just, you know, just playing the game. I got fixated on it, get tunnel vision, and I just fucking did the wrong thing completely. Um, really, really poor. Absolutely should have double surfed there. That was a terrible, terrible mistake by me there. I should have absolutely double surfed. 
and then this guy would have been able to react up the pitch would have been great wouldn't have had to bother with this guy at all he would have been served so that was really terrible really really terrible really terrible <laughs> but then that's what happens isn't it when you're actually playing you know so they're, they're the sort of things that I would always criticise people for when I was watching them but then obviously sometimes I do them myself because that's the sort of thing you do isn't it no one no one plays perfectly all of the time well any of the time but no one plays mistake free all of the time so yeah, I absolutely should have set up a double surf there, and didn't. And as soon as I did it, I was like, why didn't I double surf? But you know, that's it, innit? You have, you have lapses sometimes. Uh, usual gym GFI there, all in a one. But uh, it's obviously great for me now, there's only like, what, four Norse on the pitch or something. There should be three though. And he fails that, and now it's, uh, should be easy to get the ball. and. Again, I could just surf this guy here um, with a blitz, couldn't I? But I'm, I'll try it with a block. Um, which, as it turns out, isn't such a great, great dice roll. Yeah. And now, because I moved, now because I've done all the safe moves first, I just can't even surf him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and he should have already been gone the turn before. But uh, GFI succeeds, picks up the ball, and I just go for the pom hit rather than try to double GFI or anything to serve. Much safer just to pom, I think. Don't pom. Make the ball safe. Wow. What an amazing play from Jim. So there you go, actually make the ball safe against these four Norsemen. <laughs> The four Norsemen of the Apocalypse. See what I did there? But yeah, it really should be three. Of course, for the uphill surf, Dirty Dino. And here, I, I could have easily surfed this guy, but I thought, it's not easy to get into scoring range and protect the ball. So I thought I've got to use my blitz. I've got a GFI blitz this wolf because he's he can just reach me, can't he? Have to blitz the wolf. Wolf, whatever, the, whatever the hell they are. I we'll try to make you know as safe moves as I could. Completely block him off from going forward. It's quite like. But yeah, quite a few GFIs to hit him. I did them one at a time, so I thought if I use the if I use the GFI in the first one, I could think about not even trying the second GFI. Uh, but then, I, but it was stupid. As it happened, I would have always made the second GFI. But I thought at least it was the right thing to do, wasn't it? Just to maybe not, not make the blitz if it was a, a preferred one. As well. There's the third double schools of the half. Pretty crazy. But yeah, that's it. They were they were mostly surfs. Um, and the apple worked on so one was apple, one was regen, one was a surf, one was apple, one was regen, three were KOs, only one Kaz. Um, and to sit at the end of the half with like four players on the pitch, you know, it was obviously brutally one sided that half, but um, only one Kaz gives them a chance in the second half. Crazy. Guy stays out. Two come back. And I believe he had 13 players. So second half, he has got three, six, nine, eleven players again. And obviously I've got eleven because I've got two runners now on the pitch. So yeah, it's crazy that is it's crazy that as 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 absolutely brutally, horrifically one sided as that was. He's still got 11 men, he's still got his best players, you know, he appled, appled the Ulf and uh, Cheney regen. So he's got all of his best players, he's only missing a tackle fender, which isn't really super good, is it? I'm, on the other hand, missing an edge guarder. So, he's actually got a better team. He's actually, essentially, outbashed me. <laughs> I didn't do the advert Sky Blue Money, they must just come when you join. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't set any off for ages. So yeah, actually, it's crazy that obviously during the during the drive, I outbashed him to death, completely, 
horrifically outbashed him to death during the during the drive. But afterwards, all right, oh, you just called me a bastard randomly. All right. <laughs> Hello, Sky Blue Monty, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you know, obviously you would hope that Mighty Blow versus Armour 7, we're going to get some damage in here. Maybe even some knockdowns, you never know. Probably should have done the, the more hits and left the pom to last, but. Because I kind of messed it all up a bit, I think, by doing these two blocks. But, get the knocked out. Another one gone. The dust is bitten for him. And I don't need to follow up here to make it three dice, do I? It's already three dice, even if I don't follow, but I, I did follow. I don't really know why I did follow, but I did. Might have been better to have not. ball pick up and pretty safe pretty nice turn now 11 versus 10 he does get the chainy blitz but doesn't go for the dodge out so he's in the danger zone his chainy he's gonna get a punch it's just the only question is whether to palm him or just hit him with mighty blow I don't know hit him with mighty blow hit him with nothing hit him with a strength four but I am a bit too narrow, aren't I? And that's the thing. If, if I hadn't followed there, then the, the Blitzer could have been one further out. And then these guys would have both been one square further back. So he swung around a bit and put a bit of pressure on here. That is Dick Cheney, yeah. He makes the foul with 11 players on the pitch. And he gets the Kaz. And uh, gets sent off. So now it's, it's still 10 versus 9. It's still pretty good. And uh, I make a horrible play here. <laughs> I think to myself, oh, well, you know, I, w I want to hit this guy with my pom, right? My, my frenzy pom. So I move these, these two in first, thinking, and if you're watching this live, you can see me click on the Troll Slayer all in that square over and over again because I'm thinking, well, he's going to have the ult assisting for the first block, but I've got two. And then I can chain the uh, the runner, you know, closer to the sideline and stuff, and hit him twice. So I'm I'm always thinking about about blitzing from this square, and then I move this guy in for the assist from where I was going to blitz from. What an idiot! What an absolute idiot! I really did want that guy there, but I wanted him there after the blitz, but I just did him before the blitz because I was just stupid. So that was really really horrible play. So now I've got nowhere I can even blitz because I can't split my team over here trying to hit one of these. So I, I'd just go for a Frenzy Trap Blitz, which is dire, isn't it? Absolutely dire. Um, you know, and who knows, if I'd, if I'd done it properly, maybe I would have cancelled that guy. Um, but instead, I have to risk risk the Frenzy Trap, and so I take the both down so that I'm not Frenzy Trapped. And yeah, that was really bad. You know, on another day, if I'd done it properly, I would have pushed him to there, he would have been there, then I might have just cast him. And then he could have been in a lot of trouble, couldn't he? But instead, he needs to punch this guy around. The blitz set up, blitz him into an extra block, which is alright, isn't it? It's another foul. I don't know if he's like, you know, he's getting desperate, but uh, he hasn't got a bribe or anything, he's just making some fouls. And yeah, he puts he puts this guy into the into the getting surfed position, doesn't he? Uh, maybe I could have tried over here to have surfed Cheney, I guess. But it was so easy to surf this guy. Um, I just went for the surf on him. Yeah, maybe I could have tried for a chain surf actually. That might have been a good play. Not sure, I'm not sure how he how possible it was to surf chain. 
But I do want to punch Cheney, which means we've got to get some guards in. I like this though, because I meant if I pushed him, I got to uh, hit him with a pommer. But then got the boat down, so decided to re-roll. And I thought, I'm not going to take the push just to hit him with Palm. I thought, let's take the power. Make sure he's down. I'm like, sure, he's got the potential surf here, but it'd have to be uphill, wouldn't it? You can't de-roll this guard. So, it's still going all right for me here, isn't it? Not going badly, but he's getting some mighty blow hits in. One more into a tour. That's a double GFI to hit him. That's a bit wild, isn't it? Another foul. Stun. He tries to dodge away and fails. So now, what I should have done here, obviously, what I should have done here, uh, Jimmy Fantastic's taken on Xbox because it's your gamer tag. Uh, what I should have obviously done is the, the shit thing is with the Xbox, you can't actually show it when when you paused, you can't move the uh, move the square thing. I should this guy should have blitzed one, two, three, four square hit him, push him to there, block with a carrier. Block with the other dwarf, and he's off. I should have obviously surfed this off, but I thought, oh well, pomming him's pretty good anyway, so I don't need to surf him. But I should have surfed him, shouldn't I? It was obvious and easy, and I should have just surfed him. So I think that was a mistake for sure. And now hitting this fucking off has taken a lot of resources and ain't fucking worked. <laughs> Blocked him two dice twice, and I kind of, I kind of was banking on the push. Maybe I should have re-rolled the both down from this, from this pommer. Because all of a sudden, there's no way I can protect the ball at all. Because just everybody blitzed him. And just didn't... Didn't uh, succeed. Okay, so I'm more or less protecting it. But it's it's going pretty badly. Right now. Uh, four, eight, ten. I've got ten. And he's got... Three, six, eight. So, like, you know, it just feels bad. Even though it's, it's not technically that bad, is it? But it just feels really bad. I guess because I've got two runners. And runners are pretty useless. This could have been the, the edge four guard. I would have been a lot happier. But yeah, I really should have. I really should have surfed, or at least attempted to surf that off one. I guess I would have failed with all those both downs anyway. <laughs> I mean, he, he does well. You know, he gets his guard in there. He gets the he gets the frenzy trap hit in. But I mean, it works. And then this this turn, I really should have put in this assist and blitz the strength 4 uh, blitz Cheney with a strength 4 standing up and it's just, this is a horrible turn this is a horrible both down, again maybe I probably should have re-rolled that because <laughs> because now, I mean that, that wasn't a turnover, that was wrestle but, you know, there's no I can't, I've got no blocks I actually ran out of time this turn, I've got no blocks I can make and I really should have, uh, I really should have re-rolled that. I really should have re-rolled it, at least for a push, so that, you know, the ball's completely open. You can just dodge in a three plus with Cheney for two dice on the ball. So, yeah, that was really, really bad. <laughs> um, I don't think I could have gone in the middle of the field there. I thought I could have done the last time. I just, I just didn't, knock, didn't knock over that. I couldn't knock over the Ulf, could I? I wanted to knock over the Ulf, and I just couldn't knock him over, so... I think that's why I didn't go for the surf, because I was going to try and bust up the top through the... Uh, yeah, I think the previous turn is why I didn't blitz the ult, because I was going to try and go break free. But then when I hit him with three blocks and didn't knock him over, that was problematic. And now all of a sudden, he's stunning people. He's, he's piling on and KOing them. And now it's looking very hairy, isn't it? Lost the ball. And, uh, yeah, now this is suddenly a horrible match after being so good in the first half and pretty good this half. Um, yeah, now it's just trying to get the ball back somehow, isn't it? Maybe I could have blitzed. Maybe I could have surfed this off here somehow. I don't know. Not easy. It's just not easy. because he's, he's actually got two strength four, hasn't he? And uh, he's got a guard or two. 
<laughs> and I've got all this guard, but I'm just not knocking people over. You know, there, another two blocks, don't knock him over. And, uh... There's a death. That was a... That was a... That was a removal. That was a death, in fact. Hit Cheney. I've got to keep hitting Cheney because he's his best player, isn't he? 100%. 100% change the best. So I had to GFI that and not get served, but uh, it's looking pretty horrible. Pretty horrible now. <laughs> he, can, he can probably serve somebody, probably do something. And I honestly don't know if it's the dice. Were, I mean, the dice were bad that turn when I did three blocks on, on the orphan, didn't do anything to him. It was really bad double downing against Cheney, but maybe I should have re-rolled it. You know, to say I've still got two rerolls for the last two turns and I've lost the ball. Probably, probably I should have rerolled it rather than just not rerolling it. Now he makes a KO. And, <laughs> you know, I'm still not using my apple because I want to save my apple for a permanent injury. Because uh, I am still, even at this stage, I'm still pretty confident of winning <laughs> uh, in normal time. Finally, get stunned by a frenzy trap. I mean, he was he was on to deal with frenzy traps all the time, uh, and he was mostly getting away with it. But I mean, he didn't have any choice, did he? He still had to go for it. But yeah, I mean, that was that was incredible. One die sitting one uphill, and he casts me for a minus AG. Um, that was pretty lucky, wasn't it? And so I think there's a, there's an element of both. I think it's an element of a bit of sloppy play combined with. Some not very good dice. <laughs> I mean, not horrific or anything. I don't know why I did that and not, not somebody else. Ah, because I wanted to knock down the Ulf as well, I guess. Yeah, I guess I would hit the ult and then get this other guy in. That's fair enough, I guess. And get a lovely KO, so it was worth hitting him. Uh, because there was prize money on both core packs, and it took me a long time to get an Xbox. So once I got, I would have been doing this for for two years if I'd had an Xbox for two years, but I just didn't. <laughs> So yeah, this is his turn 15. And it's getting a bit desperate for him, isn't it now? I mean, now he's, he's lost a lot of players now, to be fair. This is what, six aside. Six for, six for him and seven for me, I think. So, but he has got this movement eight strength four guy, which can do something, can't it? Couple of pushes. Knocking down chain is good. This guy is uh, is not in range to score. And I probably should have stayed where I was here, so at least I was basing him. But um, this is actually quite quite a nice play now from Nad Jeans. Because this guy is not in range, so he needs to chain him forward. And, okay, this wasn't very good because the Ulf's gone in, uh, the Berserker's gone in a completely no, complete non-square. He could have just stood one there and it would have been a two dice block. But he's actually really unlucky to get the Kaz there. Because if it had just been a knockdown, the Ulf Werner could have gone here, blitzed there, pushed him forward. And then he might have been able to pick it up, pass it to him, and score. And then the last action of the game, he, he gets frenzy traps, draws a one dice score, and kills himself. <laughs> but he did regen. Not not that it mattered because it was the last turn. So it was a pretty funny, pretty funny end with a skull into death. And then in the end, I made twice as many AV breaks. He did make a, quite a few cas though, uh, two or three cas he made. And uh, yeah, so on to the next round. And that was, it was pretty tricky in the second half. I really probably should have re-rolled either one of the hits on the Ulf Werner and, you know, try to break out that way. Or I should have re-rolled the hit on Chaney or just 
changed how I did the hit on Chaney. Because uh, I should have really factored in wrestle being a, being a thing, and I didn't. So I, if I'd thought more about the wrestle, I, I would have blitzed differently and stuff. But there you go. At the end of the day, worked out all right, didn't it? Uh, and I thought he played a lot better the second half. And, you know, first half he was really screwed by the perfect defence. The, the perfect defence absolutely killed him first half. It wasn't, it, but even though I didn't play it very well, I don't think. I, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? At the end of the day, it was pretty ugly. But I won, that's the important thing. And next up is the game against the Kislev who beat the run, which is, which which only played... They were the 11th ranked Kislev. And they had just played one game and lost. So that's pretty. That's a pretty funny match in the next round. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.